Hey there, YouTube followers, Michael of Painting War Games. It's been, I think, two weeks this time since I've last seen you guys. Um, so, what have I been working on? Um, I've been working on the uh, Death Company Dreadnought just a little bit. Um, honestly, this thing has not been really my focus. I uh, did get a game in. I played Necrons versus Tau. I lost. It was my first game, 1,500 points. I really didn't know what I was doing. A lot of fun. Um, I will say this: my destroyer lord with war sight went like he. Uh, the guy took out my race, um, which you know he promptly did. But he had one of the riptides, and his riptide came up, and I, I, me and him were like, I was like, dude, I really want to get in a close combat with your riptide. He's like, okay. So he set him up. I charged, and I wrecked that thing. I did not know that you could sweeping advanced monstrous creatures. Because I uh, won combat, and I rolled a six, he rolled a four, and I, I just smoked him. And it was it was awesome. So um, I'm going to try to get a game in this Thursday. Uh, since I'm off, I'm going to go up to the shop and see what's going on. But what have I been really up to? Um, I started painting the Tyranid Warriors, and I actually got all three of them done. Um, I only have one of them on a base, and there will be pictures at the end. So this is, this is like, uh, if I remember, there was a Tyranid Prime, which was like a modified warrior model, and this is it. You know, it just has the big shoulder things and the better head, so yeah. So I'm really happy with how this came out. I was having a very hard time with, um, I was having a very hard time with the Carnifex model that I was painting, the purple and black one, if you guys remember. Here's the other here's one of them. This, I have, I still don't have the guns on these guys. Um, and it's because I didn't know which guns I wanted to. Um, I need to go through my bits, and I'm going to put the devourers on them. Uh, if, I, if memory serves me right, there were Assault 3, like Strength 5, AP 5, some crap, 18, 24 inch range. So, they all have Lash Whip Bone Swords. Um, from the little paper I got with the Death Storm, Lash Whip gives them like plus two or three initiative, um, which is always good. And Bone Sword has its own special rules. So, I was like, okay, I want my Tyranids to get into close combat, particularly Warriors, because if memory serves me right, they are three wounds, strength. Uh, they're, three, they're three wounds, toughness four. Uh, they're like Terminators. Uh, except they have three wounds of pop, so, uh, and their toughness four, strength four, I believe. But yeah, real simple paint job with these guys. Um, I was having a tremendous time with the Carnifex model. Um, I was having such a hard time. And, you know, it was the purple and black, and um, I just couldn't grasp what I should do for the black carapace. Um, I wanted to create a model that had the black carapace, and I wanted to do dry brushing. Um, so I went to the Warriors, and um, I looked up Tyranids Green, because I wanted to use green um, if I wasn't going to be able to figure out how to do purple. And I had picked up this green at the GW store. And this green is really cool. I like it. Um, I really like how the Helion Green, uh, the dry brush, that's not the right color. There it is. Um, the Helion Green dry brush complements it. Uh, when, uh, cause I put a Cornelia green shade, I, I have all my stuff, yeah, Cornelia green shade, uh, wash on top of that green. So, I really like how those three colors complemented the, um, themselves, um, particularly cause the Helion green just, it's, it's like the other green, the, the layer green, it just makes it pop, it's just, I like it so good. Um. The black, I used Abdon black, and then I used a the Skink Blue dry brush. Because I wanted to put blue in it, I, you know, just, it was dying for me to do it. And then I used the gloss, because I looked at it, and I'm like, man, this just, just does not look right, like the carapace. And I started out with the Tyranid Prime, and I'm like, okay, cool. Um, and I put the gloss on it, and I was like, that makes the model for me right there. Boom. Um. I could always do more, like I could uh, do in between the, like the joints and stuff. This is a really simple paint job for me. Like, 
really simple. It took me a while to come up with it, but it was very simple, and I really like how it is. Um, I will be getting the guns um, primed and putting them together and putting them on the models here before long, probably within the next week or two. But I did that because I really want to paint the other Common Effects model because um, I got one in the Death Storm kit. So this is him primed. Obviously no guns. The gun I'm going to put on him is the Heavy Venom Cannon. Um, I'm going to put the gun on after I paint him because I want to be able to get in here and get all this detail and do detail on the gun. The guns, I have yet to decide whether they are going to be the same color or not. Um, because from what I remember of the 5th edition codex, like the guns are actually a separate organism within the Tyranids. And, you know, they're just cool with each other, I guess, or something. I can't remember, but, yeah, that's how it is, so. Or, that's how I remember it. Um, I do, where I put him? I do have the Broodlord. He is done primed. Or, for the most part. Yeah, he's primered. Um, really like him. I really like this model, and I'm really looking forward to painting him. He is going to be done really similar to the Carnifex. Actually, I need to get this guy back out of crime. There's a few areas that didn't get hit. Oh, well, that's what happens. Um, but yeah, I've just been doing that. I know, guys, it's been a while. Um, I went out and picked up this the other day. Halo Combat Evolve Anniversary. I don't have an Xbox One. I have a 360. Um, so I've been playing this off and on. I really like the original. I wanted to... I really wanted to have a 360 version. So that's this. But yeah, um, not much else has been actually getting worked on. I've been working a lot lately. Uh, surprising. I had that week off. Basically, I had five days off and really didn't do much with it. Um, I have the three remaining Death Company guys that are being worked on slowly. Uh, it's just, I, I've been having a hard time getting myself motivated to paint. Um, just a lot of stuff been going on. Uh, some stuff I really don't want to talk about just yet um, until details get finalized, until things actually settle down. Um, you know, personal stuff. Um, you know, I have, I will say this, I have been on a job hunt. Um, it's, you know, I it's becoming apparent that the job I have is only going to give me so many hours a week uh, with the new... Uh, management system that's in, in involved. You know, I've been actively trying to pursue something uh, in my degree, which I have a degree in heating and air conditioning. Um, I'm, or, you know, and I'm very mechanical savvy. I'm not very tech savvy, like computer stuff. I'm not, that's my brother. I'm very, like, you know, fixing components and, like, lights and stuff. Um, if something's wrong, I like to tinker with stuff and I like to fix it. So I've been actively trying to pursue pursue something in that general area. I'm there's still some things that need to get ironed out. I'm talking with about three or four different people. So uh, once I get details uh, ironed out and things settle down, which hopefully everything will come to a head sometime April May ish. Um, my brother gets married in June. Uh, so hopefully things will settle down then. Uh, April is going to be a busy month for me because I we got a big sale at the, my current job and I'm going to be very stressed out with that. Uh, so hopefully I can make a transition into something else uh, so I don't get stressed out. All right, guys, this is Michael of Painting War Games. I'm sorry this is sort of a ramble, but it's really mainly about the Tyranids. How much I really love this paint scheme. Uh, you know, this is it's simple. It's it's relatively quick. The dry brushing is what takes so long, but this is all oh, in the wash because the wash takes forever to dry. But batch painting, um, hormigons and termigons would be relatively easy for this paint scheme because it really doesn't require too much, and it looks really good. Like I'm thinking that a whole, like a table full of tyranids looking like this will be amazing. Um, it's really odd how I want to pursue this. Like, I really want to play Blood Angels, but at the same time, I look at my Tyranids, these, just these three models, I'm like, man, I really like how these are painted. 
um, I would really love to play Tyranids again, and Tyranids are going to be coming down the line. Um, it's it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, when it comes to the bugs, because I, like, I love the Alien movies, like Alien 1, 2, or Alien, Alien, Aliens. Um, I didn't like Alien 3 that much. Uh, Alien Resurrection was, eh. I love the AP, AVP movies, even though a lot of people hate them, I liked them. I like the Predator movies, so I'm a big Xenomorph type of guy. Um, this will be my third incarnation of Tyranids. And I was I had always told myself I wouldn't do a third round. And if I did, I was going all out and I was gonna make it the best how I like it. And honestly, I have pictures of the older models. I'll put one of them first and I'll see what you guys think. Um, I honestly think this is a far simpler and easier paint job to do. I'm looking forward to getting the, uh, a Turver, not Turvagon, a Trigon. Trigon is my favorite model in all of 40k. I just, I love it. It's one of the most xenomorph looking models. I love building them. I love playing Trigons. I don't know about their current roles, but I love playing Trigons in the past. Like, it's just, it was the biggest model at the point. Uh, nothing could get taller than Trigon. And I, I just love the model. So I'm planning on getting one here and, you know, in, in due time. I, and I'm trying not to. I'm trying to limit myself on what I buy because I have a lot to paint still, and I still have the Gene Stealers to build from for the tier for the Brood Lord. So, all right, guys, this is Michael Painting War Games. I'm signing out, and as always, keep gaming.